The Smash roster is one of my favorite parts of the entire Smash Bros series, with the inclusions of new fighters every installment. Never knowing who the next fighter is going to be, some fighters don't make it in, either being deconfirmed from me costumes, assist trophies, or other fighters from a third party company taking the spot, as well as a few other reasons, welcome to a new foes appeared, where we talk about ideas for fighters that could be possibly happen in Smash 6, if not the future. I'm your host BB8 from BB8's house as always, let's get into it, up next. That's right, Beatrix from Slime Rancher is who we are going to talk about today. I know this is a bit, I edited it a bit differently, but that's because Beatrix was originally supposed to be my April Fool's Day New Foes Appeared episode, but unfortunately, I couldn't make the deadline for April Fool's Day. So I thought instead of letting the idea go to waste, I liked the idea I came up with for Beatrix. So I thought, just use it. So without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? For the gimmick, we have slime selection. The core of Beatrix's moveset is her ability to combine the power of a variety of slimes from the far far range. She can call out six different types of slimes to help her in battle with just one flick of her wrist. The unique qualities that each slime provides for the game add depth and enjoyment to Beatrix's moveset. The rock slime launches effective and rock slimes may have knockback opponents with great knockback damage. The boom slimes are fired up by Beatrix creating untamed blasts that could surprise enemies. The crystal slime arsenals have identical slow moving properties of ice, making their intended targets more vulnerable to repeated attacks. When Beatrix launches the honey slimes a sticky substance remains behind that pulls in nearby things and opponents making them easier to target. The hunter slimes are good for providing pressure and zoning tactics as they hunt down opponents. And for the rad slime, whenever rad slimes strike an opponent, they create a hazardous radi radiation area that which harms surrounding opponents slowly. For the moveset, the neutral special, we have Plot Launcher. Plot Launcher shoots a projectile of a selected slime among her arsenal of weaponry. When a slime type hits a rival, it has unique attributes of its own. For the side special, we have Slime Lasso. Beatrix throws an energy lasso which grabs opponents and pulls them toward her. The type of slime with which is currently equipped 
influences how effective the lasso performs. For the up special, we have Slime Jetpack. Beatrix sets up a supercharged slime jetpack that propels her upward and the type of slime used has an effect on the speed and trajectory. For the down special, we have Slime Swap. Beatrix examines her slime collection one by one, selecting the next type to be loaded into her plot launcher. And for the final smash, we have Tar Invasion. A horde of tar are set free by Beatrix onto the stage, causing destruction and damage on opponents who stand in their path. The tar would run across the battlefield quickly, devouring everyone in the way and leaving huge marks in the aftermath. For Beatrix to survive the onslaught, Beatrix is needed to deliberately avoid the tar herself. For the alts, we have Classic Rancher Beatrix, Explorer Beatrix, Space Explorer Beatrix, Casual Beatrix, Formal Beatrix, Beatrix the Scientist, Beatrix the Adventurer, and Beatrix the Knight. And for the Classic Mode, we have Rancher's Rumble. Round 1 would be Dog Hunt Duo, Round 2 would be Ice Climbers, Round 3 would be Bowser Jr., Round 4 would be King K. Rule. Round 5 would be Ridley. Round 6 would be Incineroar, and Isabel, and Duck on Duo in a team battle. And the final boss would be Master Hand and Crazy Hand. For the stage, we have the Far Far Range Ranch. The Far Far Range is a bright and vibrant countryside which appears on Beatrix's very own ranch from Slime Rancher. Players will take part in battle amid beautiful ranch structures, rising slimes and lush surroundings. To add further confusion to the conflict, you want to keep an eye out for occasional tar invasion or passing flock of chickens which do behave similar to cuckoos from The Legend of Zelda. So guys, what did you think of Beatrix? I know this is, like, I know that Beatrix is not that foe you need to take seriously, but I think her moveset was fun enough to do an April Fool's video out of it, and sadly I couldn't make the deadline, so I thought, instead of letting the idea go to waste, I thought, why not use Beatrix on the day after April Fool's Day? So people would know that it was intended to be an April Fool's rep, but couldn't be. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn your notification bell on so you don't miss another video like this one. And I will see you all in a future video. BB-8 out.